Hey everybody, it's Heather here from Here She Grows. Just want to do a follow-up on something I told you I would return to later in the summer. So here we are, dahlias. And I live in a zone 5B, cold climate. I'm in the southwest suburbs of Chicago. And this is my first go with dahlias. And so I thought it would be interesting to compare dahlias that were started in the house. I started them in, in March, thinking that it would give me a jump start on the bloom. I would get blooms sooner because who doesn't want blooms sooner, right? So I did that. But before I did this, I was offered, Halden Garden contacted me and said, hey, would you like to trial some of our tubers? And at this point, I have a smaller garden, so I didn't have a lot of room left over. Everything was pretty planned out. But I said, okay, send me one tuber. And I picked a Cafe Olay Royale and planted that as a tuber directly in the ground at the same time I planted the 13 other tubers that I started indoors in March. And what I'm finding is there's no difference in bloom time um, other than location. There is a difference in location and the amount of sunlight these different areas of my garden receive and how soon the flowers open, how soon the buds happen. So on the southernmost portion of my garden I have Nui de Tay, Creme de Cassis, and Diva and uh, Bishop of Dover. Those are in the southernmost parts and those started blooming about three weeks ago. Now on the western side of my garden it gets not as much sunlight. In fact, the sun probably won't be hitting here for another hour or, another hour or two. Um, and that's where I planted that one tuber and the rest of my dahlias along a trellis here. And it, it was initially intended to camouflage the air conditioner that's just beyond this. So, and surprisingly, they're all blooming at the same time. There is absolutely no difference other than maybe a day or so. Um, the uh, Cafe Ole Royale, that's this one here. This is the one that went in as a tuber from Halden Garden. Literally opened a day after the labyrinth opened. And then I have a mystery tuber too. I still haven't figured out which, which one that one is. Um, that one started opening a couple weeks ago. It was a little sooner. It's kind of a tomato soup red. But I think this is a really good, was a good experiment for me living in a colder climate to determine if I do need to take up space in March to start these dahlias indoors, and I really don't think I do, provided that I plant the tubers when the soil is nice and warm, because you don't want to plant dahlia tubers when it's still cold. They won't do anything. They may even just fizzle out and die in the soil. Um, but next year, I won't be doing this again. I think it'll be a good, it'll save me space, I and I can grow other things. So that being said, I've got, let's see, the Cafe Olay Royale is here, Labyrinth, Mystery Dahlia down the road. Um, I've got Diva behind me or in front of me actually, and then there's Nui de Tay. So the only real significant difference is the amount of sunlight these guys get because these all bloomed at the same time. So I suspect that had I put these in the sunnier location, like with my Nui de Tay and the Bishop of Dover, they would have popped at the same time as well. So next year I won't be starting these indoors so I can start other things, so that's always cool. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and this little bit of a comparison. Um, and if you liked it, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful gardening season. And um, have a great day. Thanks for watching.